So for our first example, we want to look at the probability that if you draw a card from a standard deck, draw a single card, to be clear, that it is either a four or an ace, and then consider if it is an ace or a heart. So the first thing we really need to do here with this example is be careful of the fact that when we're drawing our card, we're not so much drawing the one card and then throwing it away. We're saying we're gonna draw this one card and we wanna think about what happens with this one card, whether it's a four or it's an ace. Now, with this, what we have to understand here is that if we want four or ace, well, we have four out of 52 cards that are fours, or one in 13 if you prefer, along with four out of 52 cards that are aces. So, since we don't have any cards that are both fours and aces at the same time, we get eight out of 52, or two out of 13, which if we prefer, would have a probability represented as a decimal of about, it's a weird tilde, 0.154. Now for our second case, where we're looking at the probability of getting an ace or getting a heart, understand that again, we're only drawing one card here. And want to think about the probability of that card being an ace. Well, there are going to be four aces again in this deck of cards. And then for our hearts, understand that we have 13 out of 52 of those. But the problem is, when we get our four aces, we're going to be counting the ace of hearts. And then when we count our 13 hearts, we still get the ace of hearts. So something's wrong with our picture. In these probabilities, we don't want to have that ace of hearts counted twice. So we have to remove that one out of 52 for the ace of hearts specifically. So we don't double count. And as a result, we would end up with a probability of 16 out of 52 or 4 out of 13 for a total probability of approximately 30.8%. So it's important to bear in mind here that we're only talking about a single thing and we're looking at multiple options for that single thing where either they're completely separate things, they're disjoint, mutually exclusive, or they're not.